All right, guys, something is extremely fishy as to whether Keemstar made up the text message from Etika's mother the day after his passing. <laughs> it's alleged, but boy, is it suspicious, and we'll be getting into that in today's video. Nonetheless, let's smash 5,000 likes for YouTube's fastest news network, and if you haven't followed me already on Instagram and Twitter at Real God of Cringe, go ahead and do that. And the fact of the matter is, guys, if you're not subscribed with that bell rung, then you are not up to date. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys, now the text message, first of all, that Keem shows says Etika's mom at the top. What would that mean? That would mean most likely if they do in fact or did in fact have a relationship before his passing, he listed her as Etika's mom. Yet, it wouldn't make any sense because why in the world would you have a mother's phone number to a YouTuber which you have business relations with. It just makes no sense. He talks to the guy a little bit, doesn't have much relationship other than trying to get him on his show for an interview, yet having his mother's number, does he also have his cousin's number, his father's number, his brother's number, his sister's number? It just doesn't make any sense at all. But it gets even crazier, guys. And we'll jump into that on today's episode. So the text message starts out by saying, hello, Keemstar. This is Etika's mother. But that makes no sense, because if they've had a prior relationship already, enough to the point of actually listing her and labeling her in his phone, having her number in his phone, she wouldn't have to introduce herself as Etika's mother. He would simply know it's Etika's mother, and she wouldn't have to start out the, the, the message by saying that. She says, this is Etika's mother responding to you to address the recent THR... EATS and accusations you've received in relation to his passing. She definitely wouldn't be trying to contact one of her son's business relationships to try to smooth things over and make him feel better when she's grieving horribly, especially after that business relationship person suggested her son to do exactly what he did, which ended his life. That would be the last thing on her list of priorities. Trust me. You lose a son, a daughter, a loved one, you're not going to contact the person who suggested they do the end result to try to make them feel better. I mean, it just literally makes no sense, and it seems extremely fabricated. It seems as if he had somebody type up the message using any old number, labeling it as Etika's mother, screenshotting it, and using it to his advantage, hoping that he, she wouldn't speak up because she'd be grieving, and certainly she hasn't. But it gets even crazier, guys. She continues to say, I wish to inform Etika's fans, friends, and viewers that Keemstar is not responsible for Etika's passing and should not be held accountable for his son's actions. For my son's actions. Like, <laughs> like I was saying, it just doesn't make any sense why she'd be trying to stand up to a guy, or sorry, stand up for a guy who recommended he do the worst thing possible. A man in his position, as previously discussed on this channel and discussed in H3 Slay's video, needs it needed love, counseling, and guidance, not being told to go do something which he probably had horrible thoughts of doing. He didn't need his mind in that place at all. And the last thing on Etika's mother's mind is what the fans, friends, and viewers think of the person who did not have her son's best interest in mind. Once again, leading me to believe that he had this message typed up or he typed it up himself, labeled the random phone number or his buddy's number who texted this to him as Etika's mother, plain and simple, there's no proof it came from Etika's mother. In fact, it's leading to me, me to believe it, it, was, it was far from Etika's mother who said this. Quote, unquote, she goes to say, Etika loved Keemstar's show and wanted to make his appearance in the program both memorable and exciting. Trying to make it seem as if the episode or the interview where Etika was extremely disturbed talking about things which were extremely fearful, was all just for show. 
to try to make it exciting and, oh, remember this? This is how I want to be remembered. No. It was very clear on this interview that he was upset with Keem on how Keem was treating people and how he was leading his show and, and, and putting on his show. And she's going to stand up for Keem once again, not a second time, not, but a third time in this in this text message, which isn't even halfway finished yet. No, she's that's once again, it's going to be the last thing on her mind to try to stand up for Keem, to get the flack off Keem, and to make his show greater and better than ever so he can go and do possibly what he did to her son, to other people, to not care and love for them and to push them and to suggest they do something that they absolutely should never even consider doing. She goes on to say, my son's goal was to make the segment as dramatic and entertaining as possible. That almost seems like it's in Keemstar's words, or or, or or in the words of a fan of Keem, to say, oh no, don't worry about it. Keem loves the guy. Keem had nothing to worry about with the guy, because the guy just wanted to make an exciting, dramatic, entertaining, memorable, and exciting interview. When clearly, clearly his mind was elsewhere, and he needed help more than ever. Then she, quote unquote, says, in all caps, not to use it as a vehicle of H-A-T-R-E-D toward the show's host and creator. Once again, defending Keem, not a third, but a fourth time to try to make him seem better than he is, as if he typed it, as if his fan typed it. It is just completely far from anything a grieving mother would ever consider doing or saying it just makes zero sense on to the final part of this text message from Etika's mother spread love and goodwill instead of passing judgment what's truly needed is a much better platform supporting mental health awareness throughout the world that seems like a like a PR statement honestly from Keem one of his fans one of his managers to try to save his channel to save his reputation that had been tarnished nothing other than that once again far from something a grieving mother would do say or even think to say to save his reputation i mean a mother contacting him maybe just out of the blue like very far-fetched would maybe say hey keem thanks for for being there for my son i really appreciate it and of course he'd have his number her number he'd have her number labeled he'd know who it was she wouldn't have to say who it was and that's it quick short and sweet. It goes on to say, please build up your online community with kindness instead of reckless breaking each other down. In God we trust, you will take these blessings we send out to you. I feel like that, once again, typed by whoever typed it. Kind of wanted to end that out, almost seeming like Something a, a, a religious grieving mother might say, but once again, still seems extremely far-fetched. Doesn't at all seem like something's Etika, something Etika's mother would have said. Extremely concerning that Keem would ever fabricate something like this. I want proof. I want proof now. I don't believe Keem in this. I don't believe Etika's mother said any of this. I don't even believe he was in contact with Etika's mother at this point. It just makes no sense. Maybe he was in contact with the joystick, uh... Sorry, Joy-Con uh, friends and fans uh, of, of, of Etika, just to further his, his news reporting to benefit his channel. But that's it. I don't believe that this message was from a grieving mother, especially of Etika. And for him to use this as a pawn when his mother is grieving and was grieving, saying that he got this message a day or two after it happened is just pathetic, and it's only digging it in more to his loved ones, his friends, and his family, and they don't deserve that. So come clean, Keem. Hashtag come clean, Keem. That's all I'm going to say about it. The fact is, if you're not subscribed with that bell rung, then you are not up to date. And thank you so much for watching.